It's that type of day. Cold, wet, and gray. I'm all caught up with work, so this morning is dedicated to my next project. This project. As usual, I'll start with a question. What is this project about? Normally, I just walk out of the house with a camera and go from there, but today, we're indoors. There's no human subject. It's just me and my gear. Inspiration is needed. Luckily, we have the internet, and I begin my search. Creative photography with everyday things. I scroll for a while and eventually come across this image by a photographer named Jordi Koalitic. I like the idea of shooting through an object, so let's keep that in mind and continue. I stumbled upon an article on Pinterest called 65 plus photography project ideas you can start today. Fantastic. I scroll for a bit and number 46 on the list was action figures and it featured this photo by photographer Daniel Chung. Hmm, here's something I can do. Shoot an action figure through a small tunnel. I give that some thought and then I notice the projector hanging from the ceiling that I always tell myself to use. I can use the projector to create a background for the tunnel that I shoot through. The action figure will be my main subject and the tunnel will be my set. I power on the projector and begin to study the projection area. Now all I need is some action figures and I know exactly who to contact. My nephew Josiah. Hey, what's up, Ben? I'm good. How are you? Cool, cool. Hey, um, you think it'd be cool if I swing by and um borrow some of Josiah's toys like stormtroopers and that kind of stuff? And just like that, the wheels are turning. First things first, I have to acquire the things needed for my set. In this case, I'll be constructing a miniature world for the action figures, and at this point, the original idea of a tunnel has become more of a corridor. I'll need to create walls and find objects to stage the environment. Nuts, bolts, and any small metal objects will do just fine. You can more than likely find similar things in your own home, usually in a basement or a garage. You might even want to check your attic or go through a toolbox. Use your imagination. Let's not forget, photography is the medium. You are the artist. As I sort out all the random parts and pieces I just picked, I'm visualizing a set, but I'm also creating a story. In this imaginary world, I've decided that I'm shooting down a corridor of a spacecraft that has just crashed. My subjects are setting up a communication system to contact their headquarters for help. So the question is, what does that look like? Luckily, I have these two pedestal tables which will make a great surface for my DIY tabletop. I use some scrap poster board for a smooth surface and construction begins. I stick these two pieces together with a piece of gaff tape to create wall number one. And I use this piece of plastic and this little bin to create wall number two. We'll use this to create a ceiling. I use this piece of sheet metal which is covered in some crusty old paint to add some texture to the floor. There's my corridor. I'll use this old flash as the satellite for communications along with this piece of PVC. Now for lighting. I set up a Nanlite FS150 with a 90 parabolic and a grid to play the role of my son. I also use a Nanlite Pavotube 6C to light up the corridor, almost like internal light. 
And for an edge light and a little pop color, I use Alito Light 5C, also by Nan Light. And here we are. Now that my lights were in place, I began to add some detail. I used some kinetic sand for background texture, which will help blend the edge of the table to the projection. This is going to work perfectly. I set up my models and positioned them throughout the corridor. They will play background characters to my main subject. It really helped tell the story. For my main subject, I use an Anlight Forza 60B with a projector mount. I went through the Gobo kit and found one that will create slices of light, which will cast a smaller light source for my miniature subject. To wrap this up, I like to say that sometimes as photographers, we have to push ourselves to try different things. Look around you, get creative, and work with what you have. Shooting these action figures was fun, and the results were just awesome. If you're interested in learning more about the products that I use for this shoot, please check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.